Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to make a custom organ for Hauptwerk with the CODM. I divided this video in chapters which you can navigate with the links in the video description below. I also recommend to read the CODM user guide that comes with Hauptwerk for additional information. You can find the user guide from the design tools tab. Let's say you want to make some changes in one of your organs, like the Friesach organ we see here. For example, we would like to put a third manual in a swell, we would like to add some stops from other organs, and we would like to make the cornet playable from the first manual as well as from the third manual. To do that, we would need to change the organ definition file. Hauptwerk's native organ definition files, called ODF, are very large and complex. In order to make it easier for users to make their own custom organs, Hauptwerk developed the CODM or Custom Organ Definition module for this purpose. The CODM files are in a way a light version of the full ODF files and are much easier to work with. Hauptwerk comes with six CODM example organs that we can use as a template. You can open them from the Design Tools tab. Load Custom Organ. Let's load custom organ number one. We can leave this as it is for now. As you can see, it's a quite simple and small organ. It uses the CODM standard pages for the controls, where you can find your stops and your cobblers, standard page for the keyboards, for the wind meters and the enclosure meters. In these standard pages, the CODM automatically generates the stops, manuals and swell as you add them to your organ. So it's a good idea to start with standard pages and later on you can make your own custom pages. Let's take a look at custom organ number 6. This organ uses custom graphics for the background, keys and stops. It has also a left jump and a right jump page and the standard win page. The CODM comes with several custom graphics that you can use, but you can also make and use your own graphics. Let's first take a look where to find the Hauptwerk files and folders we will need for making our custom organ. The main Hauptwerk folder is usually placed inside the Users folder. Here is the Hauptwerk folder. In the Hauptwerk folder we see four folders. The folders we need to look at are the Hauptwerk Sample Set and Components folder and the Hauptwerk User Data folder. In the Hauptwerk User Data folder we will find the Custom Organ Definitions folder. In here we find the CODM files. Right now we see already six files, namely the six example custom organ files. When we make our own CODM organ file, it has to be placed in this folder too. Let's go back to the Hauptwerk folder and let's look in the Hauptwerk sample set and components folder. Here are two folders we need to look at. The organ definitions folder and the organ installation packages folder. In the organ definitions folder, we will find the ODF files for the organs we have installed. In the Organ Installation Packages folder, we will find several folders which are the installation packages for the organs. It is in these folders we will find the samples and images we want to use from the other organs. The installation packages do not have the name of the organ, but a number. That can make it hard to find out which organ it belongs to. But every installation package has a package definition file where you can find the name of the organ. Let's see in this folder, and at the bottom we see the installation package definition file. If we open it, we can see it's the Friesach organ. Installation package 10 is the St. Anne's, as we already can see from the folder names. In installation package 1, we find the files for the CODM organs. Like here in this folder, we will find the custom images. Organs can have more than one installation package, like the Rotterdam Demo Organ, which has these four installation packages. 
We need to make an installation package for our organ, but first we need a unique six digit number for our organ and installation package. Choose an ID number in the range between these two numbers. This range of numbers is reserved by Hauptwerk for personal use. Let's choose this number for our organ. So let's make an installation package for our organ. We go to the organ installation packages folder and create a new folder here. This folder must have our unique organ ID number as name. Now we have to make a package definition file in this folder. The easiest way to do this is to copy one from an existing organ. I recommend not to use from number 1 or number 10, they are a little bit special. So I choose to use this one. I copy this one and paste it in our folder. What we have to do now, we have to change the name. The ID number is wrong now, so we have to change it to our ID number, 820000. There we have it. Now we'll have to open it and change the other parameters here. Here's the ID number again we have to change. It. The name is not right now, of course. The short name. You can choose whatever you want. The page supplier ID. Um, we don't have a page supplier ID, but you can choose a number in the same range of numbers as in the organ ID number. I just take the same number as our organ. This is me. <laughs> the package version, we start with number one of course. For every change you can change the number if you want. That's all. Save it. And we have our installation package. If we are going to use own graphics in our organ, we'll have to place them in this folder. Since we will use samples from other organs, we don't have to put them in here. We will simply refer to their installation package number in our CODM file. Just as the package ID file, the CODM files are XML files. An XML file is basically a plain text document. You need a program to edit the XML file. You can open and edit the XML files in a basic text editor like Notepad on Windows, like we did on the package ID file, but you may want to use a program that has better search options and has a way to navigate through the document. I recommend XMLpad. It's free, it's easy to navigate through the document with the tree view over here. It has good search options and it shows and highlights errors in your coding, like here. I will leave a download link to the program in the video description. To make a CODM organ file you don't need to know any programming, but it's good to understand the most basic of the XML files so you can easier understand errors in your document. The XML file uses tags. There are basically three tags. The opening tag, with the two arrows, the closing tag, with the forward slash. The parameters for your elements will be in between the opening tag and the closing tag. If there are no parameters, you can either see an empty element tag, such as this one, with the forward slash at the end, or an opening tag and the closing tag with nothing in between. As you can see, I can open several files simultaneously in this program. This makes it easy to copy and paste between documents. Let's take a quick look at the different sections of the CODM file. The general table. General properties for the organ. For example, if you use standard pages or custom pages. The cobbler table, for defining your cobblers. The custom display control style, 
for defining your own custom graphics if you use custom display pages. The custom display keyboard style for defining keyboard graphics if you want to make a custom console page. The custom display label for defining labels on your custom pages. The custom display page for defining your custom display pages. Divisions for setting up your divisions or manuals. Enclosure table, here you can define the enclosures. External rank table for controlling external ranks like from a real pipe organ. The rank table defines the settings for the samples of a rank, comparable with the physical rank of pipes in a real organ. Required installation package. This is a list of the installation packages of the organs from which the samples and image are used on your CODM organ. The shortcut piston table for reversible pistons and special effect pistons. The stop table for defining the stops as shown on your console page. Think of it as the physical knob on a real organ. A stop can control more than one rank and the rank can be used in more than one stop. The stop rank table. The stop rank is the connection between the stop and the rank. Here we define which rank or ranks are controlled by which stop. The tremulant table for defining the tremulants. You can find details for all the table fields in the database table that you can find in the design tools tab. Now we will create the CODM file for our organ. Let's use the CODM example organ 1 file as template. It's the simplest organ with the smallest file. It may not have all the functions, but I find it easier to add them later by copying them from one of the other organs than starting with a large file where we have to remove a lot first. Before we start editing, it's important to make a copy of the example organ file so you keep the original file for future use. So let's make a copy paste it here and rename it to our organ name. Now let's open the file and start editing the elements in the general table. We start with the organ ID, change it to our organ ID, the name of the organ, The short name, we take the same in our case, but you can choose what you want. The organ definition file name excluding extension is basically the organ name. Current Hauptwerk version. This is the Hauptwerk version for which the file is made. Basically the Hauptwerk version you're using, in my case 7. Sample rate code. For the sample rate code, let's see what the database table says about it. Sample rate code. It should match the highest sample rate of any of the samples used. Let's see here. Sample rates. Our organs use 48,000 Hz as highest, so we will use code number 3. The visual appearance code must be 1. These three elements are for showing custom information files or MIDI demo files for your organ. These are shown from the organ menu in Hauptwerk as you can see here. Since we don't use that, we leave it blank. The rest of the general table is not necessary for our organ right now. We can come back to it later. Let's save the file and open the organ in Hauptwerk. We don't enable the ranks, so we save some loading time. This is our organ, as you can see on the name, test organ. We haven't changed so much yet, but in our next video we will add some keyboards and some stops.